I'm Jenny, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for spending some time with me today. Today, I have decided to go ahead and start putting some of the paper dolls that I have purchased into a book. Um, I considered buying like a photo album. It looks like I'm crafting with cats today. Hop down, kid. Um, I considered getting a photo album and using that, but I didn't really like the 12 by 12 size and I didn't like the eight and a half by 11. So I wanted something that was a little larger format so I had plenty of room to um, design something around the paper dolls uh, that I thought might be appropriate for them. Um, so I have, I wanna show you, I, I bought these uh, at Goodwill and they were already cut out. So they look like uh, they came from probably one of the Dover paper doll books. I have other paper doll books that have this same kind of um, drawings and this is signed by Tom Tierney and he, has, he did uh, multiple paper doll books for Dover Publishing. So I'm pretty sure this was a Dover book. So I have kind of looked up and found uh, some Dover books and stuff to see. Um, I didn't. I didn't save it. I was when I was originally bought them. I looked, and and it looked like they were the same ones. So these are already cut out, and they're American history. So I have like um, people from Pilgrim times. Um, some of them are missing Joshua, like Joshua's uh, one of the one, one of the ones from the set that doesn't have a face, like his paper doll isn't here. So I'm trying to decide whether I want to just paint in a little face. Uh, Adam's the same way. Then it has like some colonial, uh, some colonial dolls in different, different uh, colonial outfits. Um, quite a few of those. Then there's the federal, the federal time period or the federal costuming maybe. Um, so the federal era. Uh, then we have the Civil War era with some of that clothing. So I'm, I'm pretty sure they're just meant to illustrate clothing styles from American history and what people wore uh, at different, different periods. So I thought I would like to put all of those into, into one book um, because they, they all go together and, and they're all drawn by, uh, as I said, Tom Tierney. Um, and I can label them, that kind of stuff. So I wanted something that was a little bit larger format. I am crafting with cats. There's another one of my cats. Hello, Zephyr. Um, some of the smaller ones, like the, the children, look a little small against this format. Come on, guys but the adults do not. Um, so my idea is to create a background that is appropriate uh, for each set of dolls or some of the dolls and, and maybe arrange two or three on the page. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> um, and so to that end, I used some oversized book pages. These are obviously map pages. They come from an old atlas. And I have just ring bound them because it, I thought it would make it a lot easier to take them in and out and work on them because I intend to do some painting um, on the pages. So my thought is I would um, maybe gesso out, put a, a thin layer of gesso. I don't mind seeing the map in the background because I think it makes it look interesting. I think a thin layer of gesso and then uh, sketching uh, something in the background. I, I thought for the pilgrims, I might um, pull up some pictures of Plymouth Plantation, which is, you know, reconstruction of, of the Plymouth, Plymouth settlement. Um, so I thought I might pull up some pictures of that and maybe maybe draw one of the houses and a garden or a little road or something like that that I could have the paper doll standing in front of so that there is an appropriate background. Um, I have not created a cover yet because I'm not sure how many pages are going to be in the whole book. Um, I gave myself, I think, uh, 20 right now uh, just to see. And uh, so I, I'm going to start by pulling this one out. I kind of want to put them in order. I want all the pilgrims and then all the colonials, all the federals, and all the Civil War 
uh, together. Uh, so I'm going to start by pulling this one out, putting some gesso on it and sketching a background. Um, and then I will come back and show you. I think I think I might um, use some watercolor paint on it, but I'm not really sure whether the watercolor is going to do very well with the gesso. So we'll have to try that out and see. So I'll be back in a few minutes to show you kind of where, where we're going with that. Okay, I looked at some pictures from Plymouth Plantation. I don't know if you can see on here. Um, I gessoed, put a, lot, a light coat of gesso. You can still see some of the map behind, which is fine. Um, and then I've just kind of sketched a horizon line for the sky and there's um, some greenery here for hills and then this is gonna be ocean. I've sketched in a few really loose trees. I sketched in kind of the, the shape of a house that um, is, is built at Plymouth Plantation. They're kind of an odd shape and the doorways were all kind of on the other side so I went ahead and put some windows. Um, this would be kind of the back of the house. There's a, I put in a little road here and a garden plot and a fence. Um, so I'm gonna kind of just block these in with some watercolor and then I'm gonna go back with um, a black pen and put in the details. I, I might use some colors, I might use brown, you know, to do because of the house and some green and stuff. So. The, I might use colors, but I, I will just kind of go in and outline, do some outlining. And then we've got the road here. So we've got, we can put a couple paper dolls on the road and then this will kind of be their background. Um, so that's my plan. Uh, and I'll get started on the watercolor here and uh, then I will be back to, to show you. I, I don't think you probably need to watch me block in the watercolor. <laughs> so uh, I'll be back to show you that and, and what I've done. I'm also thinking that if I do one scene for each different paper doll, then on the next couple of pages, I can do just kind of some collage background maybe or painted backgrounds or something and put them on and maybe put the information about the paper dolls on there, uh, their names and the publication. Like um, I can look up and find the information for uh, you know Tom Tierney and Dover uh, and that kind of stuff. So. I'm thinking that um, one background layout showing the dolls in like maybe the, the time period and then another page or two with all of the different costumes might be fun. I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, I don't know if I wanna paint a background for every single doll because there are a lot of them. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not sure yet. So I'm gonna have to think about that for a little while. But uh, I'll block this in and put in some details and then I'll be back to show it to you. Okay, I'm back. I have done the background. So all I did was I used a large brush and some watercolor, very light watercolor. I did not use a lot of pigment. I just blocked in color and then I went in with my fine line pens uh, in different colors and added the details. So I, I made it kind of look like they're a piece of branches and a thatched roof and, you know, pieces of wood, you know, some bricks. I gave it a few trees, a fence, a garden, um, and then some background. So I've, I'm just looking for, I'm not looking for realism. I'm looking for a loose illustration. Oops, I got some, I got a piece of paper stuck there. There we go. I'm looking for a loose illustration to create a setting for my paper dolls. Um, so I went through and, and I think some, as I said, some of the paper dolls, I don't have the actual doll. I have the clothes, but not the doll. So I think that's the mom and dad, um, and maybe a, a grandparent um, or an older, you know, somebody in an older generation. But I, I think these are the, the children of the family. Uh, and this is Amity and, oops, let me, let me see. Amity, Samuel, and Ann. Uh, and I think they look like they're out doing their chores. Maybe they've been working in the garden. They brought some of the animals around. And so my idea is that they're kind of standing on the road here uh, you know, maybe walking back from a field or something with their house and stuff in the background. Uh, I wanted this to be light too because I, want, I definitely want the focus here. So I, I like that. Um, and I know it's not necessarily in, in proportion, but that's, that's okay. It just, it gives them 
a setting to be in. And so I'm, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with the, the parents' faces. Um, I think maybe I'll try to look it up online, see if I can find one and maybe draw a little face. So this is my idea and I, and I really like this, um, but I'm thinking that maybe on the facing side, this is the first page. I wonder if on the facing side, I should write Amity Samuel and Anne um, pilgrims, American pilgrims, or something like that, or, or should we put it up here? I mean, there is there is this little thing that we could cover, um, you know, maybe Dover Publications drawn by Tom Tierney, you know, that, that might be good, uh, some information like that. So I am gonna go ahead and glue these down because I, I like these um, where they are. So we're gonna, gonna get some glue on here. Put them into a landscape and as I said before I'm, I'm not sure if I want to do a landscape for every doll or you know now that I've done a landscape for Samuel Ann and Amity should I uh, you know should I not do a landscape for them and and just um, you know, go in and create just a, some kind of pretty background that they'll stand out on and, and you know, put their other clothes on, on a different background. Um, not really sure. So I'm crafting with cats still. <laughs> that one has been a little obnoxious today. So um, my husband had hernia surgery, triple hernia actually. And uh, she has been kind of playing Nurse Ratchet. <laughs> we always laugh and say the cats are Nurse Ratchet, although she's not. She's not Nurse Ratchet, which is from a character from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Um, she's certainly not <coughs> Nurse Ratchet. Goodness, somebody got upset back there. Uh, but she has definitely been playing nursemaid to him. So. Um, and I, I really like the idea of posing some of them. I, I would like... I think the parents, you know, to be together. There is there is an Amity. Didn't get all of those cut apart, but alas, um, they are paper dolls. So there is an Amity. Let me show you the others. Uh, that uh, looks like a, a wedding dress. So we might have to find. We we might maybe maybe she's marrying one of the youngers. It could be that there are two. The two parents and then the other one the other male is not an older generation but a younger so that uh, he can court and marry amity um so uh, so she has a wedding dress amity does oops let me pull this up so let me let me move this so you can see so amity has a wedding dress um this is the original amity with their undergarments uh, looks like this is maybe a, a market day, and then this is uh, maybe church. And then Samuel and Anne, I haven't finished cutting out all of theirs. They have, you know, maybe maybe a market day or a chore day still to go with that. Um, they certainly have a, a church, a church day, and they might have a, a market day as well, so... Oh, or maybe they're going to Amity's wedding in this one. So, come on, guys. <laughs> uh, so, you know, I have I have other ones to kind of to kind of figure out here. Come on, hop down. But in the meantime, I I think this is a good, a good start um, on on those pages, and and I need to decide whether I want to label each one. And, I, and I'm thinking maybe I do. Maybe I just want to put it up here look up the name of the book and, and put their names, you know, Samuel Ann and Amity, Pilgrim, Paper Dolls by Tom Tierney or Dover Publication, something. I'm not, I'm not really sure. Um, but I really like this. I think this is fun. And I like the idea of getting these out of uh, uh, a bag. I mean, I just, I store them in a drawer in a bag. So they're not, they're not doing me any good here. I can't see them. So I really want to get them out or I can flip through the book and, and look at them. So I'm, I'm think I'm going to really enjoy this. 
It's just a question of uh, whether or not I want to do a background for each set. Like, do I want to do another, you know, do I want to do a background with a church and, and put them going to church, um, you know, or, you know, maybe this is them going to church. Uh, maybe because they've got packages and stuff. I don't know. Maybe this is them all dressed up for Amity's wedding since she's got flowers in her hand. Mm, that would make sense, wouldn't it? That would make more sense. So without uh, plate 24, yep, these are all plate 24, so these go together. Um, I was gonna say, because I, I didn't look at the plates, these are plate 15, so these go together. And these are both, these are plate 21, so these go together as well. Maybe they're crushing berries, making wine, or, uh, you know, fermenting. I don't, I don't know, did pilgrims make wine? <laughs> I don't know. Or maybe they're just, you know, tromping around and, and getting ready to can them or something. So either way, um, you know, it's it's a question of do I, you know, do I want to draw a different background for each set so that they have a different setting? Or, you know, would we want to um, just give them you know, something something to do? together? I'm, I'm not really sure. So I'm, I'm leaning towards the background. Part of, me th part of me says background and part of me says that's going to be a lot of work. <laughs> but in the end, it will, be, it will be fun to look at, I think. So maybe, uh, maybe that is what we'll do. I'll, I'll think on that and, and decide. So until next time, uh, oh, if you, by the way, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it if you're still with me here. Um, if you haven't subscribed, you, you may consider doing that. Um, and until next time then, remember, use what you have to make your life more beautiful. Bye.